¿Qué tal amigos y amigas de Trail Running Review? Estamos aquí en Bagá, días antes de la Ultra Pirineo y estoy aquí con una de las favoritas, Ekaterina, que llega después también de un UTMB que al igual que Dimitri se tuvo que retirar. Eh, Ekaterina, ¿cómo estás hoy? Estoy bien y estoy muy feliz de estar aquí y aquí ahora un día muy bonito. Te sientes como aquí, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Bueno, que está muy contenta de estar aquí, una carrera que se siente también muy en casa y lleva muchos años también en esta edición. So, first question. I gotta ask you about UTMB. You were one of the favorite um, 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 to, to, to win that race. What happened in that race? Yeah, during the race I had not good shape and my feeling not so good because uh, when I came to Kurmayor mm -hmm. I saw Dima and oh my god, no, he stopped the race, but uh, my feeling was the same with Dima, mm -hmm. but I want to try and... Uh, and I didn't stop the race in Kurmayor and because I thought about maybe my feeling will be better uh -huh. but no it's it's all time the feeling was so bad bad and yeah and I stopped the race because where? I where uh 130k I stopped the race okay yeah. so in La Folie maybe yeah 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 yeah, okay. yeah and uh, yeah I think uh, my feeling w was the same with Dima mm -hmm. and I had mm -hmm. a virus yes mm -hmm. Pues Ekaterina, que se tuvo que retirar en UTMB, y igual que le pasó a Dimitri, pues obviamente, seguramente coinciden, eh, sensaciones de vacío, no tener energía, si en, segura, eh, por culpa de un virus, COVID concretamente, y sí que alargó un poquito más después de Courmayer, donde se encontró a Dimitri, y ya llegó hasta la folie después de Colferret, y se tuvo que retirar un poco por las mismas sensaciones. Ekaterina... What has this race that you guys always come back to this race? What's so special about this race? Uh, I think uh, for us, uh, for example, for me, it was my first ultra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I ran 110K. Okay, <laughs> before yeah. <laughs> the Ultra Pyrenees was longer. Okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, my it was my first ultra. And the ultra w was so perfect for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I... R I I all time uh, thought about Ultra Pirineo mm -hmm. and I have wonderful emotions. <laughs> yeah, and I want all time came to here mm -hmm. because the atmosphere is war is so perfect. The people uh -huh. so friendly and all time smiling and I love this. And uh, and I love this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bueno, le he preguntado qué le hace tan especial a esta carrera para volver cada año. Me dice que fue su primera ultra, en ese momento eran 110 kilómetros, recordar que antes era más larga Ultra Pirineo, y que fue pues, por, por, por el paisaje, por el tipo de carrera, por el ambiente, por la gente, por el cariño que sienten aquí, y por eso quiere volver eh, a esta Ultra Pirineo. Caterina, ¿cuál es la mejor parte del the race? For you, maybe because it's more runnable, it's harder. I don't know. What's the the, the favorite part for you in this race? Uh, I think uh, my favorite part of the race uh, it's when we start and when we met with sunset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the new Delalia, yeah, yeah, the yeah, first yeah. empty station. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it's so beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you enjoy very beautiful sunset, and you met with all people who mm -hmm. cheer you, and yeah, it's so. Wonderful part for me. Bueno, le he preguntado sobre la mejor parte de la carrera. Coincido con ella, la verdad, es que es llegando a New de la Liga en el primer habituallamiento con asistencia, además, que aunque pasa muy temprano, a las 7 o incluso antes, hay muchísima gente, el sol está saliendo y es un momento para mí súper especial, seguramente el mejor. Uh, I feel the same thing. Like for me, uh, getting to uh, New de la Liga yeah, yeah. is the best moment, you know, with all the people. It's before 7 a.m., so really, <laughs> really early in the morning, and, and a lot of people uh, yeah. there cheering us up, and, and it's special, yeah. So, Ekaterina, as always, as um, every year, uh, it's a big uh, girls racing here, really strong uh, girls racing here. <laughs> Who do you think is, you know, uh, the girl to keep an eye uh, in, in the race? Oh, the race? yes. Uh, 
every year. Nuria is back. Yeah, Nuria is back. Yeah, Ju Julia. Yeah, Julia. Yeah, the French and girl. Uh, yeah, the French girl and. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of strong girls, and uh, I really like when if we have uh, very strong girls because the race was so interesting. Yeah. And sometimes you start, for example, I will start not so uh, hard and uh, without very fast speed but uh, during the race when you catch mm -hmm. this uh, you the get race some motivation. yeah yeah uh -huh. yeah more more motivation and the race uh, was so interesting mm -hmm. it will be interesting and i really like this because mm -hmm. sometimes of course feelings sometimes not good but uh, when you can catch or when you run with girls uh, it's give more energy and you can uh, analyze your body and you, for mm -hmm. example, maybe change speed and uh, take your tactic for yeah, <laughs> your strategy, <laughs> yes, playing strategy. with the mind. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> pues Ekaterina, que básicamente eh, siempre hay bastante nivel, este año hay mucho nivel también y nos dice que para ella es, 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 es la gracia de este deporte es ir a las carreras donde haya mucho nivel, que siempre se hace más entretenido correr este tipo de carreras, incluso pues ver las estrategias de distintas corredoras, ella por ejemplo es una corredora que sale más bien lenta y va cogiendo su ritmito, por decirlo así, le gusta ir avanzando gente, cómo eso genera motivación y energía extra en este sentido. So, Caterina, last two questions. Uh, what shoes are you going to wear on Saturday? I will run in Agra Expedit Ultra. Yeah. As always, as all the team of uh, yeah. Adidas Terex. Yeah. By the way, I've seen a lot of uh, Agravity Speed Ultra in different, like, uh, in different kind of people in UTMB, like not just the, you know, the pro yeah, yeah, athletes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. other guys. So I think you guys are doing a good job with these shoes. And what about backpacks, poles, no poles, uh, some kind of secret uh, that you can tell us? <laughs> uh, yeah, I will run with... Um, with not new backpack, with old uh, backpack, mm -hmm. because uh, they stay, they they are more lighter and mm -hmm. they are more, uh, not driving, they they more lightened, yeah, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, and uh, I will run without poles. <laughs> without poles, okay. Yeah, and uh, we will see because uh, I think uh, the weather will be nice, and mm -hmm. we know mm -hmm. we, we will know about information about mandatory equipment. Okay. Yeah, and I we'll hope see. <laughs> yeah, the backpack will be not so heavy. <laughs> Do you know? Because I know that you have a uh, you you. You you have the, you know the weight of the backpack. Yeah, yeah. So do you know pretty much the weight of a backpack for you know this kind of races, ultra pineo, UTMB? Ah, uh, in kilos. Uh, I think uh, in UTMB it was two kilos. Two kilos. <laughs> yeah. Two kilos. Yeah, yeah. But it was a a, a big uh, yeah. mandatory yes, equipment this yes, year. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> pues Ekaterina que va a correr con la Sagravity Speed Ultra como la mayoría de corredores de, del equipo Adidas Terrex, y con la mochila, no la más nueva, sino la anterior, era más ligera, algo más cómoda, nos dice, sin bastones, y le he preguntado, porque sé que son muy frikis del peso, de hecho, los he visto pesar con la báscula cada uno de los productos, me dice que en UTM de 2 kilos la mochila, y pensar que era una edición con bastante material obligatorio, así que en Ultra Pirineu, yo creo que no van a poner mucho material obligatorio, si se respeta el día que de momento va a ser bueno, a lo mejor estamos hablando de un kilo, incluso menos. So maybe, if the weather is nice, one kilo or even less in your backpack. I think less. Less than one kilo, eh? Maybe, yeah, but, uh, but with, with, with gels, uh, with liquid, uh, yeah, it will be, I think, maybe... One and a half. One and a half. So, <laughs> 500 gramos de material obligatorio y un kilo, obviamente, de la hidratación. Thank you so much, Ekaterina. Thank you. We, uh, we, will, we will follow you uh, around uh, la Serra del Cadí. <laughs> Nice. And the best, the best of luck for you. Thank you so much, and I'm very happy because when I during the race I saw you guys, it's it's giving me more energy and a lot of people. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, muchas gracias.